Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of propeller in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new, select the standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now go to 2D sketch and select the XY plane. Select the line command make a line a simple profile of line and exit now go to dimensions give this a dimension of 350 the vertical as tm and this line is 200m okay drag this escape now you can drag this okay now go to r command select this point and select the bottom point and construct an arc as you can see it is not constrained now escape now go to tangent constraint select the arc select this top line now this is a fully defined defined sketch or fully constrained sketch you can say finish sketch now go to revolve command the sketch is automatically selected select axis and this will be the axis of rotation and okay now we will change the view type go to view from here change the view to wireframe ok now go to sketch we want to draw a, a sketch on top plane so open the origin and select the exit plane this will be the top plane and from here click on create sketch rotate the view ok now from here select the three point rectangle make a rectangle over here okay now go to dimensions the width of rectangle as you can see it is giving a dimension vertically and horizontally but we want to give a aligned dimension so right click and go to aligned and here give the dimension 12 mm similarly select this line right click and go to aligned and give this dimension as 230 mm ok now select this top point and select this bottom give this dimension as 225 and the angle this will be the angle will be 74 ok escape now as you can see it is still moving horizontally so to constrain this go to horizontal constraint select this point and select the center point now this is a fully constrained sketch finish sketch now we will make a new sketch for that first we want to make a new plane so go to 3d model from here select offset from plane and select the top plane the exit plane the offset will be of 360 ok you can see from here 360 mm and ok rotate the view select this plane and go to create sketch ok now 
here again go to rectangle command and select the three point rectangle make a rectangle over here now go to dimensions select this line right click and go to align and give the dimension as 12 mm and select this right click align dimension this will be of dimension 400 ok uh, you can uh, not see the clearly so right click select this sketch to right click and switch off the visibility now only this sketch will be visible so now go to dimensions select this bottom point and select this center point the distance will be 190 ok the angle between this will be of 14 degree and the distance from bottom will be of 62 ok now this is fully constrained now finish sketch now we don't want to see this plane so click on this right click and switch off the visibility now we want this sketch also to be visible so select this sketch and from here also you can switch on the visibility okay. now we want to join these two sketches with each, with each other so from here go to 3d sketch select this spline select this this edge and join with the top edge ok similarly repeat spline this time select this top edge and select this bottom edge ok and ok now you can rotate the view similarly we will do this side go to spline select this edge and select this bottom edge ok go to spline once again select this bottom edge and select this top edge and ok as you reach this point it will show in green color so then you can select rotate the view from front this will look like this and from top this will look like this a zigzag pattern go to home now exit sketch and go to loft command select this sketch and select this top sketch as you can see the loft is not properly arranged so go to home so we'll give the rails for rails select this 3d sketches one by one and rotate this and this line and this line now you can see the propeller blade profile and ok go to home now change the view go to view from here we will change the view to shaded ok and we will change the give the color also give this a color of cyan I have given this color ok now we will give the radius so go to 3d model go to fillet and from here give a radius of 140 mm select here and select this side edge 
similarly this edge ok and apply now take a radius of 30 mm and select this top edge this will select complete profile and apply ok now take a radius of 10 mm select here and select this bottom edge and apply ok now cancel this profile is complete now we want to make a pattern of this so from here we will select the circular pattern from loft and all the fillets we will select in features and here click rotation axis and select the circular profile so by default the uh, quantity will be 6 and 360 will be the filling angle and ok now it is getting constructed and ok it is complete from here you can rotate it and you can see this now this is the complete part to make it more realistic go to view switch on the reflection and switch on the shadow ok now it is getting much better so i think you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you